Hey guys, how's it going? Octopus here. Welcome back to Opera Omnia. We're going to be doing Franz Cosmos event. Uh, this event was kind of weird last night on stream. If you guys don't know already, I stream on twitch.tv slash Octopus. Last night's stream, we did the event, but it took me a very long time. And that's because artifacts, guys. Artifacts are so important. You don't even understand how important they are. Not just like you have to have perfect artifacts, just that... They have to be on your unit for, in order for your unit to do enough damage. And it's very true to certain characters. Not all of them, but certain of them. And this is what happened last night on stream. I thought I had it. I had the right team. I knew it worked. And I went in. And this was the end screen. <laughs> Wrong one. This is my face in the end. So <laughs> I was so pissed. <laughs> We're done. We're done. <laughs> so you can see here, I pretty much, I pretty much got 334,829 when the mark is 340,000. I was off about 5,171. So <laughs> really sad about this. <laughs> and I tried to figure it out and we went back in afterwards and this is what we found. So a couple things happened. I went to go check on Zach here. And this is what I found. I just recently found, uh, not not found. I've recently farmed Ifrit's board because Zach did not have full Ifrit, uh, the ultimate board. So I had to master that. And you can see here after I figured that, I'm like, we could have got that score if I just clicked on Ifrit critical hits, Ifrit initial attack up, and Ifrit attack up. That would have made the difference to get that 5,000 something score that I needed. And that wasn't all of it. I was using Sarah as well, and this is what I found. All right, so after checking Renoa, I was like, okay, let's go check out Sarah. And when I switched the page to Sarah and I clicked on passive abilities, everything looks fine, right? Except for passive ability artifacts in the bottom right there. <laughs> I just recently farmed them like the other day and I forgot to click on them. So she did not have her all debuff attack boost for two of them. That is a big difference i just took a break after that and i came back i'm like oh break time all right and i left for five minutes got some strawberries raspberries and i came back in but that's what happened and when we finally finished it this was a difference in the score so same exact party i got just five thousand less to the same party just artifacts actually activated i got four hundred and fourteen thousand three hundred forty seven that was the difference from not making the score making the score just because they did not have their artifacts on so do yourself a favor, try to get good artifacts, or at least try to make sure your artifacts are actually activated. For now, I'm gonna jump in, and I'm gonna show you guys what I did with this party and how I got that score. All right, so this event is actually pretty difficult. This is one of those Cosmos that actually felt like a Cosmos. Um, you do have, certain, have to have certain parties. There is playing them out there. There's Team Soldier where you use Sephiroth, Zack, and uh, Cloud. You can use this party here. You can use Balthier. You can use Vayne. Vayne will do really, really good here, especially Vayne and a friend Quistis. Uh, friend units, you guys can use Rydia. You guys can use Ash. Ash works good with Team Soldier from what I heard. Uh, Byron, he took uh, care of that on his stream. So there's actually a lot of Team Comms, but this is the one I did. I I don't have Vayne, I didn't want to use Lena, I just want to stick to the units that I actually went for, my husbandos and waifus, because that's what I pull for, I don't go for meta, if my husband, husbandos and waifus turn out to be meta, great, if not, mm. so, the party set up here, uh, what I did, here's Renoa, Renoa's fully mastered, this is her artifacts, all the way through, you got attack 108, max bravery, attack 108, and attack 65, and then for my Sarah, <laughs> god, this is my artifact passage, attack one away, all debuff, all debuff, all debuff. That's what's really, really important. Those three things right there. And then Zack himself, I finally mastered, not mastered his board, but I got all the important stuff out of there. Uh, here's his artifact, soldier grit, soldier grit, soldier grit, attack 108. And I got the Shiva and Ifrit stuff going on there. So, this works out really nicely. Uh, the the art not the artifact the shiva i'm using shiva over ifrit because shiva and renoa work really well together and the reason being is that if you know if you're below 80 percent you don't get ifrit's uh 25 percent attack where shiva here guarantees you 15 percent and also we have more speed which is good too so we got all this going on this is actually a really good team comp zach at first was doing no damage but he is doing a lot better now that i have his proper artifacts and ifrit for this t team setup i'm going to bring in quistus uh make just make sure your quistus has like both boards and make sure they have like at least decent artifacts here i'll bring attack 108 36 and max bravery 
So nothing crazy, but I could bring in Rydia, I could bring in Ash, they do really good as well, but I like that three turn delay to make sure we kill one of them as fast as possible, because if you don't notice, we don't have any debuffs on this uh, team here that can get rid of it. Well, we do, but the enemies end up, you'll see, the enemies end up with a lot of frame buffs, and it's really hard for Sarah to do much there. She does get two of them in there, though. So, we're going to start off with Angel Wings. Renault is pretty much going to take care of the, cla uh, the trash wave, which saves so much time because the limit here is 60 turns, and 60 turns is not a lot at all. So we're going to go first turn, two turns, no problem. Zach, one ability. I kind of wish Sarah was second, but we'll see if that doesn't matter too much. Uh, if you're using Renoa, Renoa, you want to make sure you hit the middle one because if you, for some reason, HP attack it and don't kill it, it will actually paralyze your unit. So make sure that you're using an HP attack that will kill that eyeball one shot. So we're going to break B first because B is going to knock Zack into the middle. And then when we break A, Zack goes right there gets another turn. Uh, we are going to go Rush Assault. Even though they're not attacking us, we're going to go Rush Assault regardless. Just so I can start getting my buffs in there. It's better if the enemy's targeting me or if his buff's on there. It doesn't really matter. Like I found out last line of stream. But for now, that's good. Just to get our buffs and our everything we need there. Now that they're debuffed all debuff artifact clicked in and you guys can see we have much more max bravery and a lot more attack right now so now we're gonna do tons of damage i'm gonna go for a chain slash over here and i'm gonna kind of share the hp damage aoe hp damage between sarah's ex renoa's ability and zach's apocalypse <clears throat> so we take one break there which is not too bad uh this might break all three of them no perfect one break is beautiful i'm more than happy with that we're gonna go ahead and clap on you with Angelic Cannon. I like to keep my Ifrit abilities up in there. I know a lot of people would like to spam the HP attack over and over and over again because Zack can take care of that and so you don't have to worry too much. The enemies are going to target Zack the whole time so if Renoa has 700 HP, it's all good, you know what I mean? Or even if she had 1 HP, they're not going to kill unless they do AoE HP attack which these guys don't have, I think. <laughs> At least I hope so. So, we're going to go with the Moonlight here. Pop that in there. AoE damage. Renault's back at it, has pretty much all I need there. We're going to go Angel Wing, and we're going to go for the one with more HP, which looks like A. That kills A, and B's left behind. We're going to go with a Wound, because we don't need that much abilities for the next, next, uh, for the last wave. Six and six is more than enough, because Sarah is going to be swapped out for uh, Quistis there afterwards. So, same idea. Make sure you hit one of the eyeballs. It uh, doesn't really matter at this point, because they're both going to die. They have enough HP to be spread apart. The only thing that lives is the one in the middle. But now we got Zach's HP plus. So we save an ability. And we're looking pretty good at the moment. Okay, so I have to reset that because Zach didn't break A. And hopefully there's a different turn order or something. Okay, Renault was first. Renault will break A. And then Sarah and Zach will break B. So this works out good. So we're going to go HP attack on A over here. Get that break in there for sure. Zach's going to turn over here on B. Use his chain slash to make sure he grabs the aggro. And if it doesn't break him... Which it doesn't, 498 left, we're going to use Wound to finish all that up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so now that we got them broken, we got Poison, all that good stuff. Apocalypse, beautiful timing. This is going to make sure that both of them are attacking Zack, and that means Renault can just go Ape at this point. Okay, so Zack's got all his defense going. Here we go. Uh, there is a chance of breaking here. I, I, I did break last time, and I don't know why it was being broken. But it did happen. It might have been because I didn't have an artifact on. But I made sure all my artifact pa passes are on. All my Shiva blessings are on. All that good stuff. So hopefully we don't. So there you go. Taking that big zero damage. We're good there. Uh, we got our AoE ability. EX. Going to activate it right away. And this is where you don't have to worry too much about Renoa being... Um, what do you call it? Full HP. Because we don't have Ifrit. So we can heal her afterwards if we really need to. So I'm going to try to beat my old score that I had before. Um, it looks like B is dying more than a so we're going to focus on killing b but also b has b also has a turn coming up i mean bravery coming up so we get to push him back which is really good and give bravery to the party so that went in nicely we're not going to use quistus yet what i did for my run is that i kept in sarah and i just went through my run as fast as possible at the end of summon before they came i switched over to quistus so again hp plus over here Getting that 45k damage looking really good there. And we're going to go straight into this summon now because after this all attack, they're going to start buffing each other or buff themselves and they have frame buffs. So unless you have like Balthier or Vanille or someone to get rid of them, you're really in a bad position. And with this party, I can't really do much because I only have two frame buffs. So we're going to come in here and we're going to do as much DPS as possible. 
So I was Zach doing 42k, 12k, 18k. I was doing 11k, 7k, 11k before I put on the proper uh, if for buffs and all that. And especially uh, her artifacts. It was a pretty big difference. You guys would have saw. Uh, we got a couple turns on wound still, so we're okay with that. Pop the wound there. I mean, uh, the bravery one, the moonlight. We're going to go apocalypse. Apocalypse. Before artifacts, 50k. After artifacts, probably put on and uh, that, 76k. Such a huge difference. I can't get over it. So, HP attack over here again. Getting that 49 at 24. Renoa is just so good with her AoE. Uh, I'm going to ignore... No, I'm not going to ignore that. I was going to say I was going to ignore the EX, but that's 100% AoE damage on both sides. So, I'd rather do that. 28k to both. That's 56,000 damage off one unit, which is really good. Uh, we got our buffs for one more turn there, so we're going to go with Rush Assault one more time. 18k there, 12k there, and then another 18k. So we had like 48,000. Really good. Now, we have Sarah in a couple turns here, right? Sarah's going to be the one that's going to replace. Actually, I don't know if I want to do that. I kind of want to replace Zach to put in Quistus, because Sarah does give that buff to the entire party. So I'm going to try this a little bit differently than what I did the first time. So Zach's going to be switched out, and we're going to keep pushing B with Zach. So for now, Zach, we're going to go with uh, Chain Slash to make sure his buff stays on. So there's a 32k. Sarah, we're going to go with a wound. 18k right there. And what we can actually do is start picking on A. So A gets pushed back and then just carry on this all this AoE damage to slowly kill you. Or we can just burst down one and have all that to ourselves. So when we get Angel Wing Meteor, you know what? Let's just burst down A. Let's just stick to our, our game plan and burst down A. But I do want to break, uh, or sorry, B. I do want to break A over here. We're going to switch out Zach. He does have Apocalypse, but that's all right. We're going to push back uh, B right now. Get that 25k damage there. B's nice and far away. Sarah's still here. We're going to go Moonlight. Get that 11k to both of them. And now we're going to go back into Angel Wink here. Since Zach is not here, I kind of want to just go Angelic Cannon. Because Zach's not with us right now. So it's kind of iffy to keep her at this much HP. So I'm going to go Angelic Cannon. To get my HP back. Just because I got rid of Zach. So it's a little bit slow down on the DPS of Renoa, but it's not too bad. Here's the Rainy Sky. Renoa, I mean, Quistus is totally fine. Quistus is going to go for her whip because now A's got all the buffs regardless. So I'm going to whip over here to raise her attack. Get Instructor's Whip there. 37k damage, and then we're going to push B as much as we can until he dies. All right, so we're going to go for an ultimate arrow. Should be enough. To at least get B to a weird place. Because B is going to just do his attack. So it's not that big of a deal. It's not going to do HP. Okay, it did break both of them. Beautiful. Oh, it didn't break B. It didn't break B. But Poison took care of all that. Sarah's Poison, man. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Alright. So, we're back into this over here. I'm going to go with another Angela Cannon. No, you know what? Actually, yeah. Let's go Angela Cannon. By the time it comes to her turn again, I think we might be in a good position where... There's the Great Mazer. That's a break right there. No problem. We might be in the position where her... Oh, we're not going to be able to kill it. No. I won't be able to kill it. Pretty close, though. Pretty close. I'm going to go Wound. And then here's uh, Renoa, back full HP. All right, let's just do the AoE. It kind of sucks that it wasn't just on one of them. I was hoping uh, B would die a little bit faster, but it's all good. B does get destroyed by this. Now all we got to do is worry about A. A is going to get pushed back galore. So we need no, no need to worry. Moonlight. HP plus. And that's all we got to do from this point on. Now it's just beat down. Now we just beat him down. Uh, We could go homing whip, but I'm going to go degenerate whip again to push him back three more turns. Sarah's going to go moonlight here. I'm going to go moonlight here. Not going to bring the ultimate arrow because we do have a little bit of overflow there. Drop that wound again. Go HP plus. 45k. Homing Whip. We're at 42 turns. I did this a little bit differently than I did the first time. First time I switched out Sarah for Zach, but Sarah's got that uh, all deep buff I want to keep on there. Hmm. Yeah, let's keep, pump let's keep pumping the bravery to the party. I just want to keep in the, the, the whole party bravery. There's a knock up. There's a 13k right there. So she gets all that done. We're at 44 turns. We're nosing a switch out for Zach. Zach still has a target on him, so we are going to go with a Rush Assault. 
I'm gonna go with the Rush Assault because there should be more damage in Apocalypse. 20k there, 28k, 41k all together. They might have been a little bit better each way. But there you go, guys. I think I might have be beat my previous score by switching that up a little differently. Sarah, uh, Sarah staying in there actually gave her no a lot more power. So that AoE pushover gave me a way better score. So instead of switching Sarah, I switched out Zach just to keep Sarah's artifact all debuff on there. And that's how I beat Cosmos last night. Uh, I might do a couple more setups for this because I do want to try different team comps. Uh, but again, if you guys have Vayne, you're probably doing a really good job here. Vayne, Lena, uh, you guys bring whatever DPS you want after that. Team Soldier works. There's a lot of setups out there. So if you guys got any more setups, please leave it down below for the community. But that's how I pulled off the Cosmos. Hopefully something here helped you. If you guys have any questions, you can leave it down below. I do have a Discord that has an Opera Omnia, Opera Omnia channel as well. So hopefully someone there can help you. If I'm available, I'll jump in if you tag me or something. So... Cosmos run. This one was interesting. Uh, I might still pull for Ash, even though I did pass the Cosmos. Technically, I don't need Ash, but I do like her character. So I kind of want to go for it. But at the same time, I'm like, oh, I pass all the content. So maybe I should just save my gems. Even though I have almost 200k gems, I'm still a little bit picky on what I want. Husband of waifus. <laughs> it's probably why I'm going to keep pulling with tickets. I'll see. If you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you ever want to join any of my streams, I do stream at twitch.tv slash Octopus, and we do stream when events are released. So if you want to come hang out and check it out, we are there over on Twitch. Link will be down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll see you guys in the next one.